There you go. <laughs> it was that easy. <laughs> Uh, welcome to a brief introduction of our kids yoga curriculum series. My name is Jan Pratt, and I am the co-owner of Ontastic Yoga, which is a uh, yoga school designed to help teachers learn how to teach yoga in the classroom, whether that is a preschool classroom, elementary middle or high school, this curriculum is appropriate for all ages. Um, and my um, co-partner in this venture is Lenora Deegan, and I'll let her do a little introduction, introduction of herself. Hi, my name is Lenora, and I've been with Omtastic and Jam for over a decade. And I teach, um, I teach yoga to all to all different sizes, shapes, and ages of people. So I believe that yoga is important in any age, whatever age you are, and that it's it can be the your practice can be modeled exactly the way you want it for your own self, for your own self improvement. So whether you're two or whether you're ninety two, um, I believe that there's a form of yoga that will benefit you and even the people around you. So. Um, my, I have, a, in addition to working with Jan on these, uh, on these books, we, I also have a nonprofit called Peaceful Warriors, and we bring yoga to people that um, may not be able to come to a yoga class, whether it's because their family doesn't have the income to take yoga, or maybe it's not available in their schools, or maybe their hours are different from others, or maybe they live in a senior center. So I work with all different facilities and organizations in order to bring yoga to them. Um, and that's what, that's what the two of us kind of bring, um, uh, bring together in our programs for kids. So Omtastic Yoga has been through a bunch of variations of practices. We've been in studios, we've been in schools, we've been in preschools, and now we focus a lot on training teachers because what we realize is that if we could get teachers teaching these skills in the classroom, then we could reach a wider audience rather than just one small class that we were teaching once a week. So we work to bring um, this curriculum to a variety of school systems and um, preschool centers, a variety of locations throughout the country and now internationally. So our curriculum is, uh, we have eight different curriculum and we, because we use them in schools so much, we've tried to, to coordinate with um, things that the students might be learning. So a lot of the curriculum are sci have a science or a social studies basis to them, along with the tenets that go with yoga philosophy. So Lenora is gonna talk, talk to you a little bit about why yoga, why not just a lesson on weather or a lesson on the body, but why would we do yoga with kids? Um, so before we jump into that, just let me talk a little bit about uh, the structure of our lessons. So they're each a six week lesson, but they can be used individually at one week at a time. They can be used, um, they can, each lesson can be broken apart. And we'll look at one of those lessons in just a minute, but let's find out why we would do yoga with kids. So the principles of yoga and the basis for yoga <clears throat> contains um, eight different sections, which is what makes it different from sports or exercise. Um, because yoga is more comprehensive than just that. We believe that everything is connected. We know that everyone is connected and that when we work with our mind, our brain, our breath and our body, that we, we, we overall make a better change overall than if we were just directing our lessons at one particular thing. We also know that all children learn differently. And so by adding in the, the body, um, 
you know, the presence of the body in a lesson and the presence of the breath and the presence of your mind and what it's working on, it makes a much more um, easy to understand uh, lesson for children. So the yoga has gained popularity across the world recently, um, basically because more and more studies are done on the effects of yoga on people. And the one thing that stands out is that we're learning that it's very helpful to everyone, not just not just adults. OK, so there's no point in saving this stuff for when you're grown up and you take their yoga classes. It's more important that we bring it in on a basic level for children. And studies show that the earlier that people can learn things such as mindful movement and breath work exercises and relaxation techniques, the more easily they can adapt into their lives these lifelong coping skills that can help them later on. And um, the, the parts of yoga are kind of listed here, the, the ideas behind it, how we should, um, how we, sh how we should be, how we should live, which is, you know, generosity, kindness, um, non greediness, all that kind of stuff. And we try to incorporate that in our lessons as well. Um, so you're also getting, you know, like games with cooperation, for example, where everybody's working together and um, quiet games where you can actually listen to your breath or listen to a bell and focus your mind on one thing, which is called mindfulness, which is really important in schools now for, you know, for behavior and for learning. So we teach calming techniques, brain breaks, um, reducing stress and anxiety is the point there. And then these skills carry through for the entire lives of children, helping them hopefully become compassionate, self-aware adults who are healthy in mind, body, and spirit. So let's take a look at the layout of one of our um, lessons. This is one of our more common, our more popular lessons, I guess, with our students. Um, and it's called plant, oops, excuse me, it's called, Oh, I lost it. Sorry. I will um, edit that out. It's called planting seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back, back there. Okay. Let me. Good thing I can edit, right? Yep. Um, this bar is like a pain because it's like right under where the slideshow is. Where yeah. I want it. I don't know why you can't move that. I don't understand it, but. Okay. All right. So let me get up here. So let's take a, le a look at one of our um, lesson plans that's called planting seeds. And this is gonna have those components that Lenora was just talking about. So. Every unit has some type of focus or a connection for, um, for that unit. And this one, it happens to be about planting real seeds and how do we plant seeds or set goals in our own lives. So we have both of those ideas going on in this lesson. All of our units have a literature tie-in, some, some type of, um, book that you can use as a resource with the kids. They all incorporate movement. Often that movement is in the form of yoga poses, but sometimes it's in the form of yoga games where we might do those poses in a fun way. We include affirmations. So um, things that can help internalize what we're talking about with the kids. Um, some, sometimes we encourage them to write those down and put them on their bathroom mirror or on the corner of their desk. We like to include games in our practices, as we said. Um, and then some of those games can be mindful games. And we talked about mindfulness just a few minutes ago as an activity that's that's maybe a little bit more quieter where the kids can really begin to focus and teach themselves how to pay attention. We find often that kids haven't been taught to pay attention. We tell them to pay attention, but what does that really mean? So we can teach that skill through an activity and we like to call those mindful activities. 
almost all of our lessons have some type of other games or crafts that re reinforce that, um, the theme of the lesson. And we love to include breath because that's a direct connection to the body and to our nervous system and is a great way to help um, kids learn to regulate emotionally and to control their bodies. With all of these um, practices, you can, they're complete with directions on how to play the games, directions on how to teach the breath. The lessons all include handouts or support that might need to go with the, um, the lesson. Often there are extension activities, and then we like to close out our lessons with some type of relaxation or reflection for the end of the lesson. We would love to connect with you guys. You can get more information about our trainings and about um, the materials we offer at our website. You can also send us an email if you have any direct questions, and we would love to offer training to staff or any other type of support packages that you might need to make this successful in the classrooms at your school. Thanks for listening. We appreciate your time. Thank you.